how much have you been keeping up with music during quarantine? I know you said you're more of a um, music by appointment type of person, but did you did you listen to any stuff that came out recently? Um, unfortunately, I haven't listened to the Bryson Tiller. It's on my list. I know we talked about it. Um, did you listen to it, Mike? I did. Okay. I did. Um, I have a a, a take on it. Oh, okay. I have a take on it, but I'm gonna let you finish, man. Okay. I'm gonna go. I, let's get your stuff off first. I mean, I haven't. I, I haven't. Know. Yeah, you fine, right? There you go. Um, I haven't listened to the Bryson Tiller like I was saying, but all right, all right. Well, I, yeah, you got You got to talk about it. You got. I can't even wait, it. preach. I can't even wait, yo, Bryson Tiller, y'all. Oh my God, he pissed me off so much with that album. Um, I see nothing but negativity. The only place like that it? I heard, the only place I heard some people really talk that they liked it was the Joe Button podcast. And I don't know how much of that is just them trying to show some love. <laughs> to me, I was totally disappointed. I was totally disappointed. I had a high bar set for him and he didn't even come close to reaching it. Um, Angie and I, we was driving, we were driving back for somewhere. I can't remember where. We Chicago. Was driving long. Was it it might have been Chicago. I think you're right. We played it. And I was hoping it was going to be, you know, something that we just bop to, we drive to, get me through like an hour of my drive, bro. When I told tell you, fifteen minutes in, her and I was talking, and it turned into background music to the point that it ended, and we were like, "Oh, it's over already!" Like I didn't like one, bro. It's not many songs I liked on there. It was like this, for 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 the for the people out there that partake in a particularly uh, particular vice, let's say. Let's say it's called gas out there on the streets for y'all. Let's say it's gas. Exotic. And you go and you some exotic, exactly. <laughs> so you go and you try to get some gas, and you like, yo, did I know this gas? Because he always deliver gas, or she. I I, I want to be inclusive here. See, she or she always got the gas, and you go home. You, you you put it in whatever you put it in, and you light it up, and you turn out to be like, oh, this some this some Reggie. Cause you had to take C's out, it was stems in it. That is what Bryson Tiller album was to me. It should have been called um, C's and stems because that's all it was. <laughs> and I had to pick out certain things in it that I like. It's a couple songs like okay, I can listen to this again. But as far as beginning to end, oh, I was so disappointed that I listened to it twice. Cause I said okay, I was driving, maybe I wasn't paying attention. Let's play it back, and I did it again, and it still didn't do it for me. So I was totally upset at Bryson because it's been how long? How long did it was it between him dropping? It was like it, a it was year and a half. I thought maybe two. Half. Maybe two. Okay, so and that's one thing I do want to talk about before we get into new music. I guess do y'all have a, a preference about how artists drop? Because mm-hmm. it's Bryson Tiller, and then it's say Griselda. Mm-hmm. Or let's make it more specific to West Side, because he dropped three albums this year. Like he been dropping music nonstop. I don't know what's going on over there. It's probably a lot of old stuff they had in in, in the tape just they were releasing. But he released three albums. Bryson. Hold on, let me. I want. Five. I want to. I want to talk about Bryson. I like oh, the album. Oh, you like the album? I like the album. I mean, I'm not gonna say I like the album. Um, you just said it, that. It, I'm not gonna. I'm not trying to see it type it like it was a uh, great album. It was a. Uh, it was ten songs. I probably like. Half of them, five songs, five out of ten. Um, it was Tell quick. Great to me. That, that's what I got on my accounting exam. You know, but, I mean, it's I not, hope not mate. The issue, is, the issue is that he's he's competing with a classic album. Trap Soul is classic. I mean, like, for you, mm-hmm. it's no, it's almost, it's pretty much no skips on us on a, on an album. Yeah, but he did like, have so, an album before that. I mean, after that, rather. After that, yeah, true. To, no, no, I get you that. True to self, I didn't like. I wasn't a fan of that. Nobody was. I think it's better than that. I think it's better than that album. Right, so I think this so- this album will sound better after Trap Soul. Um, I think w- because of the album he dr- he dropped was it like almost three years ago, say twenty seventeen. True to self, um, wow. it came I, back. I knew I knew it was, it was expected wild. more. You was expected more. Um, he just dropped, you know, that deluxe Trap Soul deluxe, and you was you, you was expecting some, you know, some Trap Soul Part Two stuff. It, it wasn't that. But it was better than True to Self. I say that, it, and and I've been and I've been listening to. It. I like about four or five songs on there. Um, um, you know the Drake feature, cool. Um, it, it's it's all right. It wasn't terrible. Like I, you know, it wasn't it was terrible. season stems. It it, it, it it was the back in the day. It, it was the two for eight. That's what that was. 
It, it, so, but Rat, I hear you. But my issue is if for artists like that, like Kendrick, Beyonce, you know, artists that take long periods off, mm -hmm. when you drop, I want it to sound like, okay, no, Kendrick been working on this for you know, three years. That's why he hasn't dropped type of thing. All right, Beyonce been working on this for three years. That's why it hasn't dropped. Man, Bryce, you could put that together in the weekend. So that's that's my issue with okay. it, is that you can't take that, that long of a layoff and then the deliver. Like I said, it was fine. Submit. It, it was just submit. Like, bro, you you could have released this, you no know, probably an hour after you released what your last album type of thing. Yeah. So if you're gonna take three years off, it, you gotta come back with some fire and be like, okay, this is why I sit around and wait. Because if not, I could just go li listen to Give Me On and just move on. I agree. And like that Rihanna so that, album why... that supposed to come on, that Rihanna album supposed to come oh. out that haven't come out ever. It's probably never coming out. Um, but we everybody expecting fire. She not about to come on. Expecting fire. If you're gonna There's drop no that, it's no way. Rihanna, you have this bar. You so like, have to. It's been like three years. And you had all this time. You have to meet that. So that was my issue. That's why I asked. I'm talking about Westside. I know. I don't know how y'all feel about Westside as a rapper, whether y'all like his music or not. But he put out three albums this year. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. And for and for his fans, they like they liked it. Um, album was good. Album was good. Uh, Westside Gun is terrible. And and let me preface by let me I I have to be honest. I was just I was just talking. I literally was just talking to somebody and he said, do not come on the podcast and say that. And I have to say it. <laughs> he literally he, he said, yo, my man Mario, I I'm sorry, bro. I gotta say it. It's trash. Like, like, and, and, and hear me when I say trash. What I mean by that is it's not good. Like, right? <laughs> I, I want to be very clear <laughs> yeah, what I mean me by wild. trash. Like, I, no, seriously, I like West Side Gun. And hear me. And he understands when I say this, right? He, I, I know he understands this. <laughs> he understands it. I'm the reason why he understands <laughs> is because every time West Side Gun gets a chance, he always tells us what? He's not a I rapper. Rap. So, so, so. No, I agree with that. And I, and, I, and I understand that. I really do understand that because your music is trash. I like the persona. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm into that. Like, I appreciate Swag. that. Well, oh, I, I, I mean, whatever. But but I, 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 I the music he put together on albums are good. He got some great features. He got some good songs. Now he's not the I, best rapper. I, I, I mean, lyricist. No the best lyricist. Yeah, the, that's what I'm. No disrespect I, to either one. This is not a slight. When no, we you, you, you were not. You were not. Oh my, I knew it. We was talking man, about. You gonna Cam stop bringing up Cam, and, man? And we was talking about Cam and Dipset. I said West Side Gun is the Cam of Dipset. Right. He's the not. He's great. not. He's not. And, and I think the rapping is uh, power compared to the other two. I did that was my uh that was my like I don't think Cam is I think Jewels and Jim Jones rap better than Cam. That's what I'm saying. And Conway and Benny rap better than East and Westside. And he know that the world know that. I, I, everybody know that. I yes, but my 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 point is I, I don't I don't want this to be a slight to Westside Gun because I, I do appreciate his work. Like I really do. I just want like. How I just feel like his music is just not good, but but that's neither here nor there. That's now some some songs be fire, some beats. No, yeah, he you know, he he can put a good song together, but he's he not he not Benny and Conway. They come on a track and they they drop a verse that's like, yo, this is crazy. West hop on I was like, he he more he swag with it. It's it's he his music is literally like you put it on and you just buy it. You play spades, you drink. It's stuff like that. Benny and Conway, like yo, I want to hear what they're saying. So I get what you're rank saying. The, pre rank the three, rank the three albums, the three albums that came out. Rank them. Whoa, whoa, whoa! That burnt, that burn the proof. Wait, wait. <laughs> but before we rank them, let's talk. <laughs> we, when we were talking new music, let's we have to talk that. We have to talk burn the proof. Okay. So let's let's All talk right, that, wait. and then we can rank them after that. All right. We understand, um, and I and I like I said about as far as me listening to new music, it's appointment based, and this was an appointment, right? Like I had to listen to the Benny album. I was waiting, just like everybody else. Um, in one of my group chats, one of my friends said, "Yo, what's up on uh, you know, a certain you know site," and he lied. But that's neither here. <laughs> he lied. Yo, whatever happened is yo music leaking. You know, you remember when music used to leak? Like that used to be fire. J Electronica leaked. Okay, nobody cared about that. But but it wasn't. <laughs> I don't think I mean, nobody. No, 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 no. That did not leak. Somebody actually put that out yeah, without his consent. That's all it that happened. That yeah. I'm janky. saying like you know, remember like an album used to leak like a week before or like six or like four days before, and you found it somewhere. But that's neither here People nor there. 
Yeah. yeah well, well, I think streaming. I don't think I don't People think you started. have. Yeah, you don't have to send your music on a jump drive to somebody. Now it's like you can like hit a, hit a button yourself, I think, and put it up. True, but I'm just saying, like, I think with the advent of streaming and things like like, yeah. it just doesn't matter. Anymore. And leak and leaking was a part of the business too. So so it was some legitimate leaks. Then there was some planned yeah. calculated leaks as well. So yeah, I think it's true. It's not a thing. It's not a but thing anymore. I, I mean, I'm not on those sites anymore anyway, though. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I I, I couldn't even tell you. Tony is, but that's neither here nor there. <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> so, burden of proof. Burden of proof. Let me, let, me, let me say this. Let me say this. Um, let me start with love first. Um, overall, I really like the album. Right? I, I, I like the album. It has a lot of good songs on there for the most part. Um... And and I and I like the album. Like the album's good. The rapping is good. Like Benny did a good job on his quote unquote first album. You know what I'm saying? Like it was a good debut album. First studio. First studio album. Yep. Okay, whatever. Um, because obviously he had two albums before this, so and, and multiple mixtapes. Yeah, but, uh, okay. So let me let me let me let me tell y'all how I feel. Ross and 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 I know somebody agrees with me. Ross. I don't understand why he had to give that whack verse to Benny. I don't know, bro. Like I, 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 I just I don't I don't understand you know, it. Like you know how that go, bro. No, you I don't. It. I don't. I mean, I know how it goes, but it's Benny, just like, but Benny ain't. You know what I mean? He just threw him something, bro. He just threw him something, bro. And it's probably but then don't do it. it. It's probably pricing too. Like I give you the but then don't do it on some book. Some book. <laughs> right, right, right. Stop, <laughs> sound like yeah. right, yeah, right, yeah, right. Yeah, right. I, you yeah. gotta stop shooting this man some bell. He yeah, had a nah, whack I, verse. No like, it was bell. trash. Yeah. No, I'm exactly. saying we, we know what Ross is capable of. So if Ross give a whack verse, it's a reason behind it. It's not just because Ross rack. But we but, know Ross. Right? What Ross? Right. Not, Ross, get, I've I've heard Ross give whack verses, but that's neither here nor there. This I'm is just one saying. of the wackest I've ever heard, though. It was trash. <laughs> it was trash. It was trash. It was trash. He but listen, didn't say anything. He didn't say anything. Uh, yo, no, but Ross, Ross is known to get on your track and uh, talk about nothing Stupid. that has to yeah. do with your song. Yeah. But at least he's talking about some raw boss life. Yeah, this, some, this was some all slick around talk shit. bad. He's trash. Every I text Nas like, yo, I am so mad. That Benny put Ross on the I think he just wanted the feature. But Benny, bro, you could have just went the whole song by yourself, to be honest. I'm glad you said that, Mike. I mean, I, I, hold on. I'm glad Mike said that. I, Benny, Benny, Benny. I need more than a verse. Like I, I can't, I can't take one verse songs, bro. Like you gotta give me more than that. I don't. I, I, I just it, it, it boggles my mind. Like he's you, still crafting songs, though. He's still crafting songs. I understand that, but your pen is nice enough for you to write a second verse. You can add a second verse on the song. It is okay. You're not gonna mess up the song. It's going to be fine. That's another gripe. Um, another gripe I got is you gotta stop with the skits, bro. Let him go. It's over. 1999. Let him no, go. Cool. Dunzo. Cool. Skits is one that of the worst cool. things I've ever heard. I literally had to. I, and what I do appreciate really? is. Absolutely. What I do appreciate is. The BSF you, skits? What I do appreciate is you put them at the Dumb end of the song. Wrong, actually. And then I was like, okay, I could just skip that and go to the next song. So I appreciate you know, that. That one, that one when he was like. Right. All the skits oh, that, were bad. Uh, that one was fire. Um. Like yeah, Benny. He's like yeah. Uh, oh, the butcher, the, the butcher, the butcher, the, the, yeah. the, the, the like, meat who cutter. Who's that? Yeah, yeah who's the, the that? meat you cutter. Me? That shit was wrong. Yeah, was nah, I gotta give him that. That was wrong. Was he talked like, what the fuck? I don't care if I know butcher. Like then he's like, nah, you need to know about him. It is very old fire. school. It's very it was like, fired. old I liked school it. dip set that they used to always have skits. You're right. It's 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 older rap, right? But Ben, that's who that's who Benny is though. Benny not the the you know new dudes. Benny is like 35. Mike, you know what I'm Mike, Tory Lanez on his first album had skits. Like, it, I'm not, like, regard, it was still bad. Bad skits are bad skits. I've heard good skits. These just oh, happen oh. to be bad. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. yeah. I, yeah. I mean, if, if, I disagree. Yeah, I disagree. if the skits are fire, skit. like, you know who had good skits? Uh, Kendrick Lamar on his first album. That's Immaculate Skits. This YG were, on his first album. Yes, this bad Flawless. skits. Stop it. You got to stop that. Um, but this is a good skit, though. I disagree there. No, so so that that, that was basket. Those are my gripes, and um, you could go because I've been talking for a while. Y'all can go. Go ahead, rat. Um, if I have a if I have a gripe, which I don't, I think the album was fire. I, I I think, I think I think Wayne had a great verse, and I think I think Conway had the best verse on the album. Conway came on that joint, and like I came away from like yo Conway ripped that, and I think. 
and, I, and, and the issue was like maybe because I heard Benny so much and I only heard that one Conway, but that's the best verse on the album. I think Benny didn't. Benny don't got a, a verse that competed with Conway verse to me. Yeah, that wow. Conway verse was crazy, dog. That, that, that nah, was I don't. Crazy. I don't agree with that. I don't agree with that at all. I don't think and, that. and that that's what I'm saying. And that, I, what, you I don't agree with who, Mike? Verse. You don't agree with Rad? I don't agree with Rad. Well, Rad, that, I'm going to be honest because Rad sent that in the group chat before I listened to it. And that, it was definitely underwhelming. I'm going to be honest. No, the first, the first I'm was snap. No, I'm not saying that it wasn't a great was verse. I'm just saying it wasn't like the best verse I ever heard. Like, it was all right. It was a good verse. I, 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 of course. Never. What? What's going to. Bro, I'm not. I'm Conway not verse was not better than me. Wayne's verse, is what I'm saying. It was up there. I mean, I think opinion. that was the two best, I, verse. I, I, I I think that the two best verses on the album, personally. Nah, nah. But I think so. I hear well, you. I, well, I came in but here. Benny, Pop, Benny was great all around. Benny was great. Yeah, I'm not yeah. saying he wasn't great. So I, I, so before I give my take on it, I'm gonna just address a couple of things. So Conway, I, I would agree he had the best verse on there, but I don't think Benny has some, some verses that was crazy too. Yes, sir. Um, That's a fact. Wayne, Wayne, I came in here with last week, rap? Was it last week? And I say, oh, that this is the best Wayne verse I heard in ten years. And you, and you was like, relax, relax. Bro, that was the best Wayne verse I've heard. Probably says no ceilings, bro. Wayne, I love that joint. Right, you can all you want. I'm telling you what I think. But, bro, we argue about Wayne all the time. I'm like, to me, Wayne hasn't been good in a long time. But him on that verse bro, was crazy. Album. What was? I don't care what you funeral. say. Yeah, I, it's, funeral. It's nothing to talk about. Funeral okay, was, whatever. It was all right, better. That's, it was good. That, okay, well, fine. Rat, we we disagreed on that when it came out. Well, how long ago? Don't listen to it now. We're, we're gonna dis. I will. I would never go to that album again, ever. But as far as the Lil Wayne verse, fire. I I really really enjoyed it. Me too. But as far as Benny, and you know the album, I think y'all gave Benny enough love. Obviously, I'm a huge Benny fan. I'm always hesitant to give Benny love because I'm from Buffalo. And I, I don't want people to think it's coming from a place of like, yo, well, he's from Buffalo, so I rock with him. It's a hundred people in Buffalo that's that's trash that I would not say is fired. <laughs> but Benny is really no, <laughs> keep it up. Okay. But, but, Benny, Benny is, but Benny is nice. Like what Benny Carl is from, he is nice and he rap like I enjoy the way he rap more than I enjoy some of some of the other rappers. So I like his music, I like Conway music, I like West music. But I want to talk about Hit Boy for a second, man. Because he, to me, is on a different level right now. Between this, Conway, Sean, and Nas album, all in 2020, bro, Hit yeah. Boy is on a tear. He is yeah. on a tear. And I don't know who who is who is close. Who, who is next after Hit Boy? Like, who, who is doing what he's doing right now? Hit Boy good. Mustard good. I like what Mustard did with Roddy and... Um... Uh, but Hit Boy is definitely he, he on a different level right now because he coming with heat back to back and back to back heat, and you heat. got you know heat. You got people like you know M Mustard, I already said, or like uh, Young Bird, who pretty much Hit you don't know it's him, yeah. Hit Maker or whatever. You don't know it's him, but he's on everything. He's literally. I think he did somehow, um, some way. I think him and Ti. Did he do Ti album? He might, Maybe might something like album. that. So I mean, but Hit Boy is definitely the guy. You know what I mean? He the guy right now. If you want a Chris there. quality album, you go to that him. And he, he just delivering, delivering. And that, that that's what I like. That's what I liked about Benny album, right? For me, like DJ Shay, rest in peace, DJ Shay. Rest in I peace, like, DJ Shay. I, I like I like this beats. I liked everything that he did for Griselda. And it gave him that grimy sound, right? It gave mm -hmm. him that it was kind of it was nice, it was super grimy, and it put them in like their own territory, like very like coat. Coat following type of thing like Gajardo with DJ Say. With Hip Boy, to me, the beats were a lot more di digestible for mainstream. I'm not saying that they were better, but for mainstream, I think you could hear a couple of those songs on the radio, especially the one with Wayne and Song. And stuff like that, you could hear those beats on the radio. With DJ Say joints, them joints were like grimy, coat following, like, yo, I, I felt like I got to be wearing Tim's listening to this. So I think Benny, this is a a more mainstream album. He he did a great job on it. He still gave us good bars. It wasn't a lot of hooks. It wasn't a lot of slow joints on there. Like you may want for stuff like that, that, that can make it go to a different level. But yeah. like you said, I think he still is, you no, know, he's still, he's, he's learning to go from a lyricist 
to a songwriter. And yeah, to make it's, a song. It's, it's, yeah, hard, yeah. it's hard to do. Like Jada, Jada is great. Jada Kiss is great. But when it, it came to songs, he never could really get that mainstream love because he was just a it was just a pin. On an individual I think, basis. He, well, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, he, on a, he just yeah, cleared up features. fabulous, yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, well, a lot of that was was just most of it was verse. Wild. It was verse for verse. It was verse yeah, for it was, verse. It was verse for yeah. verse. But then he, song he had on the song. His, on the song his, his best songs before. was the Diddy verses that he wrote. You <laughs> know what I'm saying? So that so that's the issue with Jada. Not the, well, I guess I don't want to call it an issue, but that when we talk about Jada being a top of the list, that's what will stop him is that he never really could transfer him over. I think Benny, that's his next step if he want to you know go into that next lane. So we no, I, I agree. I agree. I agree. I think you know it was a great song, a great album. I think uh the joint with Freddie Good, Freddie Gibbs, probably the yeah. best song, Ooh. like the best song for me. You want to cry in a Toyota or yeah. Maybach? Come that, on, that joint. If, that was the best song. Like that can I can hear yeah. that anywhere, everywhere. That was a quality song. Freddie gave us. Freddie gave us the hook, the, a great hook, and he gave us some bars at the end. I thought that was a great. It was just great. It was just, that was the best quality, the, the the most perfect song on the album. So I think it was a good album, man. Straight up, uh, like baby. I'm, I'm. That's just dope. For it's, for know that he came from the city and everything. It, I think it was a great album. 